We are here with Dave, the raw food trucker. He's hey in guys, my house. How are you? I am in her house. I am so honored. I was just, I just was talking and I literally was exploded. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm sitting in your house. This is so cool. So tell us about your tour. Well, it's going really well. I'm speaking tonight here in, <clears throat> excuse me, in Brooklyn, Michigan, at this beautiful lady's house. I just met a wonderful husband, and uh, we are going to be talking about three what I consider magic words: raw, organic, and vegan. And uh, I personally believe it's the most healing diet on the planet, and that's where I leave it. I get a lot of people ask me, Dave, are you 100% raw, are you 100% organic, are you 100% vegan? I just tell everybody, no, I'm not. Uh, the reality is I call myself high raw, high organic, and high vegan. And right now in my life, I would say I'm the only way any animal products are coming into me if it would be unknowingly. In other words, if it slips through in some kind of uh, something that I'm taking that I don't realize. And I'm probably about, I say 99% raw, I might be 98, but I eat on the tour, I'm eating at a lot of raw food restaurants, probably two or three times a week. And uh, I always try and eat at least once a week at a raw food restaurant to support them. But uh, the reality is that some raw food restaurants, you know, they might put agave or something else in that's not raw. And I, you know, I'm there, I'm not going to pick through the food, I don't really care, as long as it's 80% or more raw. I'm good. I live such a high raw diet. And even I myself, I use nutritional yeast and uh, I, I love it in the place of cheese. And nutritional yeast is not raw. And I don't have candida. And if you have candida, I had somebody come up and say, I heard you eat nutritional yeast and you said it was great. I said, no, I never said that. I just said I eat nutritional yeast. And now I preface it with, if you have candida, don't eat it. Because this person had candida and she was telling me how it put her into a tailspin and it was all my fault because I said that everybody should be eating nutritional yeast. So, you know, people hear what they want to hear. But the bottom line is, you know, I'm high raw, I'm high organic, and I'm high vegan, and I'm just living my life. And and my message to people is simply that, and, and I, I don't just believe this, I actually know it because I've lived it. Um, I've reversed 11 different diseases. Nine of them are diseases that can take out your life. I've coached over 100 people now, and I've watched people completely reverse different types of diseases. And the raw, organic, vegan lifestyle or living or diet, whatever you want to call it, is the most healing diet on the planet to the human species. There is no other diet that is as healing as that diet. So if you have a disease of any kind, if you uh, get sick, if you have any health issues at all, look into that and see if it fits into your lifestyle. Because I just have to tell you, I mean, I have been laying paralyzed on the right side of my body in a hospital. And they tried to feed me. Uh, it was one night they had uh, either roast turkey, mashed potatoes, and dark brown gravy. Uh, salad it was uh, iceberg lettuce that was about as white as this this couch and uh, then they had a little thing of applesauce that you could open up that is what I call a 100% dead food diet with little to no actual nutritional value even though they made it especially for me and a nutritionalist had to okay it to be served to me because I was in the uh, stroke ward uh, in the hospital I was in. And so I simply refused to eat the food. You actually do have that choice. Eventually it was kind of like, get the hell out of here, kicked out of the hospital type thing. But it was all good. It, it was, uh, you know, it's where I was supposed to be. And I reversed 100% of my paralysis uh, through raw organic vegan foods and juice. Uh, my, I had colon cancer, uh, late stage one or early stage two, depending upon which doctor I was talking to. Guess what? That was just gone in six months. I mean, I, I don't have cancer anymore. Um, my diabetics, I was on 19 prescription medications and six over-the-counter medications. I used to eat a bottle of Rolaids a day. Within 10 days after going raw organic vegan, not even juicing, just raw organic vegan, within 10 days I was no longer on my acid reflux medication. I was no longer taking a bottle, eating a bottle of Rolaids or four packs of Rolaids a day. 
Um, it was just utterly amazing. In 10 days, I have coached people and just watch people get off their prescription medications and watch them get off their over-the-counter medications. I'm not talking about, I'm not a doctor, I have a ninth grade education, I don't tell people what to do. I tell them to work with their doctors. You can find a doctor that you can work with that will be open to this. Um, the challenge is, and I'm not anti-Western medicine at all, but the challenge is that what I realized laying there in that hospital bed is that the medical system None of the doctors are taught anything about nutrition, so they have no emphasis on nutrition, right? So what I'm realizing is that if you're bad enough to be laying in a hospital bed, then the most important aspect to all of that, along with whatever they're doing to treat you, to save your life while you're there, is going to be flooding your body with the most nutritious things that you can have so that your body can start to heal. So that your body can start to move forward with everything that it needs to move forward with. And I'm just running around the United States and Canada, and that's my message to people, that this is the most healing diet on the planet. And it's a pretty simple message, and uh, that's all it is, really. And then I just share about uh, what I've done to lose 230 pounds, get off of 18 of 19 prescription medications, how I ended up in the hospital, having had a heart attack and a stroke a year and a half later, being put on 11 medications again because I couldn't talk, so I couldn't tell them to not give me the medications. And now, just a second, I apologize. Okay, keep All going. All right, guys, I'm back again. Sorry about the phone call interruption. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I mean, you know, I just, uh, again, I lost 230 pounds in a year and a half. Um, I am now in the process, I am off of five of 11 prescription medications that I was given uh, two Septembers ago when I had the heart attack and stroke. I'm under a doctor's care while I'm getting off and being very careful. And I'm expecting to probably be off of all of the medications, I'm hoping, within the next 12 to 18 months. Um, and I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm living life. I'm loving life. At 56 years of age, I'm traveling right now around the country, but I've been down to Ecuador, met Matt and Angela Monarch, hung out with them quite a bit, and I really consider Matt a friend of mine. There's a little male bonding going on there, so Matt, if you ever see this, hello. And, you know, it just, uh, I've been invited to go out to speak to Europe. I've been invited to go speak in Australia and New Zealand, so I know that stuff's coming. And I just, I just, at 56 years of age, I am having the most fun I've ever had in my life. And I feel like I did in my late 20s or early 30s when I was actually healthy, you know. Um, man, I was obese for 35 years, you know. How did you become obese? I've never heard that story. Um, sure. How I became obese was um, I kept struggling with the weight, struggling with the weight, and then one day I just gave up. And what I, what, it was a thought process, actually, and what the thought process was is very interesting because the people that I coach that are obese, every single one of them re can remember having this thought process that I'm about to share with you. At one point, they're like, there must be something wrong with me. And so I, you actually make a decision to give up. It's a very private, personal thing. You make the decision to give up, and then once you've given up, you now have the freedom to eat as much as you want, whenever you want, of whatever you want. And you, I told myself there was something wrong with me, and that's pretty much what everybody else does. A lot of people, if their parents are fat, oh, it's genetic, right? I got a newsflash for people. It ain't genetic, okay? I, didn't, I mean, yes, in the rarest of situations, there can be thyroid issues. The rarest of situations. You have no idea. Oh, it's thyroid. That's what my problem is. You know, 99% of the people out there, you take 100 people, okay, maybe, maybe one has a thyroid problem. Maybe. But here's the bottom line. You go raw, organic, vegan, your weight will settle into where you're supposed to be, and you don't even need to get on a scale. Your body will acclimate itself to what it's supposed to be, and you don't have to worry about it. You don't. You just don't. Your body will take you down to where you're supposed to be. And uh, I just come back to that time and time again. Um, so, you know, I just, 
I look at all this and I keep coming back to raw organic vegan. And uh, I don't expect the world to go raw organic vegan and, and all that kind of stuff. So again, I come back to the message that I believe I've been called to share with people and that is, it is indeed the most healing diet on the planet bar none to any human being anywhere that's walking around on the face of this earth. And if you ever get in trouble, man, check this out. And if you're hearing this message and you're not in trouble and you're young, give it a shot. Just try it for 90 days and see what you think. You, I mean, really, the people that are young and avoid having to do what I did, I call it the big fat bypass. I took the big fat bypass. What I did was I bypassed chemotherapy. I bypassed radiation. I bypassed having part of my colon cut out. I bypassed being in our kidney dialysis machine, and I bypassed 19 prescription medications, including an inhaler to breathe. You know, I just did the big fat bypass. I went raw organic vegan and did the big bypass, and that's, I bypassed everything else. Oh, we're all going to die. I'm going to die someday, just like every person that listens to this. And so I have a heart condition. If I drop dead tomorrow, guess what? Five years ago, I was dying. So you're hearing me now five years later, and I had, a, if, as of now, about a five-year extension on life. And I am totally at peace with this. If it's another 30 years, I'll take it. If it's tomorrow, I'll take it. Bottom line is, I, the last five years of my life, I get to live it healthy, happy, traveling around the world, talking to people, sharing about what my passion has become, and feeling the best I've ever felt ever in my life. David Wolf, a fellow named David Wolf, really, he coined this term and it wasn't a business thing or something like that. This guy actually lives it. He says, you can have the best day ever. When I met him, he was like, Dave, did you know you can have the best day ever? I'm like, okay. It was every day. Uh, man, my mind was just like, what? He's like, yeah, you can have the best day ever every day. That's what that guy strives for, that David Wolf fellow. He strives for having the best day, living the best day ever, every day. Guess what I do now? I strive to have the best day ever, every day. And I believe it's there, it's ours for the taking. And, you know, it would be illegal for me to tell you that food can cure cancer, it can cure diabetes, it can do all this stuff. It would be illegal for you to tell me that I've been cured from cancer, I've been cured from diabetes, I've, I've been cured from obesity, I've been cured from acid reflux, I've been cured from a ton of stuff, it would be illegal for me to tell you that, so I'm not going to tell you, you know, I just, it would be illegal, I can't say that, so, um, yeah, but here's the bottom line, you fill in the words, take care guys. Thank you.